you had one word to describe David, what would it be? Inspiring. Plugged in, he's <clears throat> present. Role model. He's really good at mentoring people. An incredible teammate, too. A leader, but a teammate, and that's not something that you always see. He is interwoven into everything that we, we are all doing, and I can't think of anybody else in our industry that is so connected to so many disparate parts of the industry. He's always um, present, but he's also asking and challenging, what does that mean? What's next? Are you thinking of what's next? And, and he's also always showing up. Not even just, you know, like the bigger, more established areas like Portland, showing up like out in Estacada to meet those uh, businesses, shake hands, and just understand what the needs are of, of some of the more diverse zones. He shows up here in Oregon, but you know, a lot of my work with David has been internationally. And he's shown up in places like Taipei, Taiwan, Tokyo, and Europe. He's always there. If we have customers here, he's always there. When I think of uh, the Oregon Tourism Leadership Academy, that's where I look <clears throat> to the future for leaders there. And so that's why I show up. I show up to participate because I think those are the people that I would love to see sitting here next year or the following year. I want to be there to help and get those people ready and ready in the state to move forward. It's cumulative. It's all the tiny touches. And because, as you've heard, he's always there, that leadership comes forward in a way that is almost invisible, but it's omnipresent because he's such a strong leader. Last summer, you called me from a grocery store in Burns. <laughs> and I was like, what the hell are you doing in Burns? And you were like, I'm fishing. <laughs> and I'm in the grocery store telling them how great tourism is. And, and I mean, it's everyone. So, you know, humility is, is the first word that, that comes to mind. Like this gregarious personality is often a, a trait of leadership. And that, it's not David. I mean, it's, it absolutely is, is leading with uh, humility and it's impressive. My advice for future leaders in this industry, surround yourself with people like we have here. Um, you're only as good as those people that surround you. Be open, tap into their knowledge. Just don't make the assumption that you have the answer, but make it a collective effort. So the solution should never be my solution, but it's, it's our solution working together. I'll meet people often that are in the industry, whether that's a tour operator, outfitter, or guide, or another lodging partner, and they don't realize a lot of time that David has been leading and advocating on their behalf. There's no better spokesperson, there's no bigger fan of Portland and of Oregon, and that permeates throughout our industry, giving great encouragement to not only top leaders and organizations, but up and coming people in the industry. David's really been a role model for me to see where I can explore and go in the future in regards to tourism and, and helping the community and, and tourism as a whole. When the opportunity came up to say, what is leadership, um, who's showing great leadership in the tourism industry in Oregon, it felt like that was an investment in all of us. To celebrate David's leadership is to celebrate everybody who is investing in leadership in Oregon. And also to make David squirm because he would put all that attention right back on the Leadership Academy and those that are participating. You're right about that. <laughs> <laughs> I think over the years I've had so much support and help from others. Uh, for a person who started from a very small little town with really nothing, uh, to achieve and have the opportunities that, that I've had over the years, how many people can say that they started with nothing and ended up managing people throughout the U.S. and other parts of the world. Um, that's a big achievement for someone like myself. Uh, so that's what gets me up in the morning, the excitement of knowing that what I've accomplished then, with the help of others, there's still more to be done. And I think uh, I'm just uh, loving every day of life.